when I was over in Japan, the Thailand, uh, yeah, when I was in Japan, they had Mama San took care of me up in Okinawa. Up in Thailand, too. Goes to Jew Bassett's out the law school. What's up? Where's Mama San at? Five dollars, sucky sucky. <laughs> love you long time. Ah. Love you long time. They actually say that. You see that in the movies? They be like, I love you long time. Like in Full Metal Jacket, that is real life. They actually say that shit. They actually say sucky sucky fucky fucky. It's just the way their pattern of speaking, just like uh, these Africans. They were some Jake's though that I was sitting next door to. When he talked to pussy, he talked, he didn't, he didn't say fuck, he said boom boom. Oh yeah, we used to say they used to do Chinese bitches say that too, boom boom. 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 You want boom boom? You want boom boom? boom, boom. Yeah, boom boom. There's a different culture, culture different. Yeah. And then if you uh, fuck a lot of hoes, they call you a butterfly. Why is that? Because you fly around from the house to the house. Like, they, they get mad to like, you a butterfly. Yeah, they want you as one. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, you come here. Yeah, that's an Israelite like, shopping around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, I would. I still am, even though it's hard. <laughs> now to find pussy. Uh, Not on the west girl, side. Girl, it is hard now, man. You gotta find that one good hoe. You know? It's hard. I'm still picking this yeah. I got I got a scripture for that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got a scripture. Well actually this ain't even maybe. Dude can't make it out today either. That work. That work. Tell your sister to stay at home. Yeah, she's got Oh, she's baby. Got a little job. Some cheddar. Well, do what you gotta do in this fucking world. Well shit about to get hard, man. I got a scripture. Shit hard now for Negroes, man. Yeah, I got a scripture for your sister and all these women. Look. Proverbs 31 and 10. <laughs> Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. That's why he was saying, he said he's picky about women. You uh, gotta be picky. It's a yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. I mean, you young, you 15, you um, with your testimony level is extremely high, so you pray ready to fuck everything anyway. Especially. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when I was 14, 15, you know? I didn't get the girl I was messing with, I didn't get no white man. And I was always still looking for more, you know? Yeah. And that was when I was a kid your age. I still remember. Yeah, you can't just fuck any shit. Right. Because at your age, I, will, I remember, I was, uh, I was already extremely sexually active, like like I was a married man. That's just how the Most High dealt with me. No, you know, in all curses, under these curses, the Most High spoiled my simple ass, man. He spoiled me, man. You gotta watch for bitches you fuck with. First of all, you get a mm -hmm. disease. Yeah. Second of all, if you just like, you just need some pussy so bad, you go fuck a big fat bitch. <laughs> well, what if you get a big fat bitch pregnant? Yeah. Then that's gonna be embarrassing, first of all. Oh, that's what you do. Oh boy, with my butt, baby, and, money, with and my you, child poke. And what kind of child is gonna come out? You know what I'm saying? With my child support money. Yeah. <laughs> stalk, they stalk you too, boy. Any of these bitches will stalk you, though, any of them. But a big woman, man, they more loyal, though. They more sincere. Oh, uh, they probably are. I don't know, but you I think know. that I think that's an urban myth. Nah, it's true. I've experienced this shit. I've been that guy. I have a couple semi big moments. Not no big sloppy thing that the butt look like, the go, stomach look like the butt. There go a big thick ginger for your ass. That's Get perfect. the ginger on camera. That's perfect. She a love, she a love right there. Look at that big thick ginger. Whew, look at that. See that? That's not so good. That's a rarity right there. Really nice. That's a delicacy. <laughs> a ginger too? Whoo! Yeah, if I got me a ginger bitch, my kid come out with fucking curly ass red hair. <laughs> he looking like a freak. Oh man. Yeah, you know over there in England, you know over there in England, uh, you know how in America people make fun of black people? That's why they like that. Over there in England, everybody picks on gingers. Like if you got red hair and freckles and shit, they'll beat you up. You know what I'm saying? He might get, you know, beat you up with a baseball bat, throw rocks at you, mm. make fun of you. Mm. 
throw you, put you in a locker at school. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with you. You know Eric Carter. You know that ginger. You know Eric Carter. We talking South Park. South Park. Yeah. yeah. He hate ginger. Yeah. <laughs> That's my shit, South Park. He they, got a business. But over there in England, it's really like a, it's like a problem. Like they really, if you a ginger, they will fuff you up. Well, they need to focus that energy off of them gingers and get on that fucking fake juice. Oh, but actually, they they start to, they said the anti-Semitism is at an all-time high over there in England. In England, France, all, all over the fucking world. They see that video that you got knocked out. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see it, but I heard about it. They just bring them looking for Jews down. I mean, they ain't just here, see? They just here. People waking up to them devils. Yeah, they seen it. Right here on live TV, all of us around the world, all around the world, what they doing to them uh, heathen Palestinians, man. I mean, they doing it, like, and don't even give a shit, man. Even though the Palestinians deserve to get fucked up. Yeah, them bombs are good. I love so the first shit. I was feeling sorry for them, the more you say, I mean, you know what I'm saying. But really, you like, man, fuck them. But it's still, that's still some evil shit to be blowing up mm -hmm. children. Some right. cow, as a, right. the right. act of a coward. Yeah, they just taking over that land, that's all. They want yeah. it all, 100% of that land. They want it all. And they, they gonna get it too. So what, they gonna get blown up out of there anyway with thermonuclear missiles? Shit. Might as well wait till the sirens pass. That siren like, what the fuck is this shit? I can't even see it. Oh, there you go. That should give you a goddamn headache here next shit, man. Number seven. Says first you get the money, then you get the power, then you get the pussy. Right. You see, that's the company. I mean, pussy, yeah, I mean, that's, that should be common sense. Yeah, that virtuous woman can come with that. But, you know, she ain't gonna come with her own, she ain't gonna come with me. You know, oh, I wake up, I love my angel, like, man, she gonna come like that. She gonna come until we get that power, you know? Yeah. And just like we chase these women, they ain't supposed to be, it's the opposite, it's supposed to be the total opposite. You know, because we jewels, you know, the Lord refers to us as jewels. Gold. Yeah, gold. You know, they don't, he, he, I never seen a scripture that, a, you know, a virtuous woman, yeah, but he never referred to no woman as something that's gold. Well, maybe he did. But let me get one of them. Uh, I mean, a woman is a, uh, to us, she's, a, to a, she's like gold. Oh, yeah, I mean, you get a virtuous woman. Well, it's, it's, it's actually her. Find some more love. That's what it feels like too, when you are in love, man. It feels like you got something more valuable, anything you never do. <coughs> when she start opening her legs, she every time get her hand on her, that says sweet things to her. Or give her nice things. Goddamn Chinatown over here. That's what I'm saying, all these goddamn heathens. They just shipping these motherfuckers. A lot of these might be Jake's so. though. But still, man. Look. I, I didn't know we lived in fucking China. Y'all invading America? Y'all trying to conquer America, Asia? We, we, we honor y'all. We know what y'all doing. Y'all these Chinese motherfuckers. They, they got Chinese sleeper cells. They gonna wake up in the middle of the night and start slitting your necks. They start eating all these honkies. <laughs> yeah, they gonna start eating your cats and dogs. This goddamn, this looks like we in fucking Chinatown, bro. Look, get these Chinamen over here. Look at these fucking I already got people. them on tape. This one's way over there. I already got them. No, there's a whole new group. They're fucking everywhere. Oh, shit, a lot of more freshmen, too. There's more fucking Chinese people and white people and black people. Freshmen, too. Yeah. Let's well, see. All these motherfuckers come down here as freshmen. They get a culture shock when they walk by and hear us. Yeah. You know, well, you never heard this before, man. White man, the devil, motherfucker, the, the, the white people going to slavery. 
Damn that. What? 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 Here you go. This is uh, <coughs> Isaiah 13 and 12. <coughs> Just listen to two thirds conversation. Oh, that sounds like vexation of spirit. Yeah, vexation of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's all there is in Columbus. Haters and faggots. <laughs> Did he say that? Oh, he's right about that. You're right. You're right, bro. You're right. You're right. The other dude wanted to agree with you. Oh, for real? Yeah, he's right about that. Oh, that piece of shit. I've seen him on the news the other day. He was like robbing stores or something. It was like a couple weeks ago. I don't know how the fuck he's out. What's up, Mr. Chin? Chong? Look at this guy right here, this big weirdo. What's up, homie? Oh, dude. There goes your boy right there, Paul. This is a big weirdo. That's a key. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is Did you get that weirdo on camera? That's why we out here, man. You know? That's why we faithful to you out here. Without this, we get shit. This is Lamb, this is Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man, not a woman, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than a gopher wedge of gold. Oh, okay. so it comes to that time when shit gets, start popping Can you read that again? The bus was all loud yeah, and it shit. Was loud. Oh, just like when, uh, yeah, like with that shit over there in Ferguson. Wait till they actually start battling the cops and shit. Mm -hmm. The women, they go, they go and fucking run, bro. When the motherfuckers start shooting real bullets and they really start battling, cause they go, they gonna start battling over there in Ferguson just like in Ukraine. That's what's gonna build it. I hope. You know, we just hope so. I hope so. You know what I mean? pray. I, Lord willing. What's the word? Being optimistic. Yeah, I'm being optimistic. <laughs> you know what I mean? To shoot that, that shit going down in Ferguson. Lord willing, that's gonna spread to every city. Listen. The kingdom will not come until all this craziness take place. It got it's to not be going to come until it takes place. So this shit happens. The Lord said it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I mean, it's already happened in every other country. It's just, that's right. Like right. it already happened in Ukraine and Greece, uh, Spain. Man, it's crazy. The Middle East is a motherfucking, uh, that's all out war over there. I mean, in, Syria, in Syria, all Iraq. Over. You know what I'm saying? They chop, the ISIS is chopping motherfuckers' heads off every day. And you know what I see on them people's faces? I see smiling on them men's faces. Oh, yeah. They have but the women, you see the women hide. Well, the women, when do they put that Sharia law in place? Mm. They, the women, they... That's rubber band, bro. Huh? That's rubber band. What's that? I said that's the rubber band. The rubber band, man? No, that's what you got. I don't know nothing about that. What does that mean? Means he goes both ways or something. I'm saying 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Yeah, so everybody acts like these women are all precious. These women ain't shit. They ain't a bunch of hoes and bitches, man. Yeah, you're going to notice that too when shit starts popping off. You know, that you're going to see too many women that you're going to be able to take your pick. So, I mean, come on. What's more valuable, something that's less of or something that's more? Something that's less. So you're going to take more, you know, there's less men than women. Yeah. Far less, it's far less men than women, you know? And it's far less righteous men, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean... Oh, that's even less. Yeah. That's even less, right. That's way, man, I'm telling you, man. Just to find a brother, man, that, that won't fuck your girl, that won't come and go, you know, you, you outside, here in your crib, he's going to be going through shit. You know, a thief of this stuff, a tough old nigga, man. It's hard to find a nigga that who ain't, who's inspiration, who's inspiration to, to be a, to be a, 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 a big time drug dealer. You know, how many niggas you know that, that's their inspiration. You know, to be large, in charge, you know. It's hard, man, to find a man that's, that, that's gonna look down on that, man. It's hard, you know. This is Lamentations 4 and 1. How is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. Come on, you know? 
most high placed his elect strategically around the world, you know, where he know that the 144,000 eventually going to hear it. So we have to be close because you see shit happen, you know, in the Middle East. You see shit starts to happen over here. When it's coming over here, you know we're getting close. Like the shit in Ferguson, like the shit with uh, that other nigga, that grown nigga that got killed, uh, uh, Trayvon. Oh, yeah. Trayvon Martin, he wasn't a child. They tried to say they was children. There's my these little babies. They was both damn near 18, wasn't they? The, 18, 18. the Bible says yeah. you a man when you're 12. 12. You know, you, you look at a 12 year old, a lot of times they don't look like a man, but that's when you talk to do manly shit, manly yeah. things, especially with. Out of this. Go out and start cutting the grass when you're 12, maybe yeah, earlier than that. that. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, I, that's when I first got my first, I was delivering newspapers when I was 12. Mm -hmm. you, know what I'm you know what, now that I think about it, when I was 12, I started catching a lot of Say hair. your name, so was, Alex. You know, once you do grow, you start sinning. At 12, man, you know, the most high starts punishing your ass. You know, I mean, a lot of that back I mean, even when, when a woman becomes 12, too, that's when she starts, on the average, starts having her period. You know what I mean? Flower. Flower for so the number 12 is a deep number. That go in 12 tribes of Israel. You know what I mean? Um, the precious sun to fire. Well, that is 12 months in a year. It's 12 inches in a foot. And it's 12, you get a 12 pack of beer, a 12 ounce can. Every 12. That's bad though. Yeah, I mean, bad, I have, we could go on for days with that. 12 the number 12. Yeah, the, the, the dirty, dirty doesn't. <laughs> the precious sons of Zion, comparable to What's up, homie? Why, why you eyeballing me like that? Y'all trying to take America over? I see he looked at me with a little blue eyes. Of course, he thinks you're going to be a street you slave. All right. My fault, I interrupt you. Hey, he kind of creeped me out with him eyeballs. <laughs> Goddamn fish heads everywhere. Yeah, with his zipper heads. Is that what they call them? It's like we used to stack fish heads like you five feet high in Vietnam. You know, or Korea. You probably got a BMW or a Lexus or, yeah. or a get, brand new Honda. They got to go to the power, you know? Probably Toyotas, all Japanese oh, no. shit. Well they Chinese, they don't give a fuck. China don't make no good car. <laughs> they probably making rip-off Toyotas. Yeah, they make everything bootleg in China. Oh, my fuck, go ahead, bro. You sure they're making some nice ass missiles over there, man? Oh, yeah, they're making some good shit. Yeah. What are you reading? You don't read that, dude. Never touch the floor. I don't think I'm going to find that bitch. That bitch is bad. Who's that redhead right there? Red, man, wait, man. We ain't seen nothing yet. Because this is time the freshmen come in. And wait till you see all these bad bitches, man. I mean, some fine. And they come here, they come, come a lot of these motherfuckers from small towns, they ain't never seen niggas. You know, <laughs> but on the but on BT. <laughs> you know, for real. For real. <laughs> well she was five flying by on the freeway or something. But there's a lot of white folks that never seen a nigga. I've heard I've heard white people, conversation I've heard white people say it before by They out here. Yeah, I was like, I never I never met no black folk before. Yeah. It was being sincere when they told us that. I remember yeah. that talking. Yep. He wasn't saying it like, hey, like, you don't be around on you just never been around black folks. Yeah. Man, you go around these small towns all around Ohio, and Ohio is full of a lot of counties. Down up in the holler. Yeah. And I mean, where the Amish be laying up at. Never been around black folks, and don't want to be around black folks. So, Amish. <laughs> so I lived in the town of Bonners Ferry, Idaho. It was 100 and, or 1,200 people. Yeah, Only one understand. of them was black people. What? One black person, wow. the whole town. Wow. Wow. That was my homie, Max. We, knew, we knew the faggot here from Orchard, Ohio. <laughs> I think he was Toledo. popular. Well, fat. We, he was, came here and became a big time faggot. He was probably a faggot there, though. But um, he was only in the Archibald, Ohio, and we looked around, but he's, he grew up there. He was the only black there because he was adopted by some Jews up in Archibald, Ohio. Oh, they started raping him. Uh, yeah, right, right. He was adopted. I met them all, too. They built their house from scratch. <laughs> Bad as hell. Bad, you know, if you got money, you'll do that. But anyway, they adopted him. He was the only nigga in town besides um, besides um, a few Mexicans. That was a uh, like, like, few Mexicans. They used to sell out Mexicans. I'm cool with Mexicans. You know, you know Mexicans are, uh, are uh, they uh, they the same nation as us. Yeah. They're just a different tribe. 
Same nation as us, man. I was up at the, the flea market this weekend. Uh, man, there's Mexicans all over the place. They were cool as hell, bro. The Mexicans were cool as hell. Oh, these Chinese. Look, they like keep walking by. There's a, this is a Chinese invasion. Oh, this was like the Chosen Reservoir, the Korean War. You know what I'm saying? What's up, man? Where you from, man? You go, you go. You're still here. You're still here. Just hanging out. This is Lamentation Form 2. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold. They sort of men are like fine gold, not these nasty ass hoes. Mm -hmm. How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? And it's really talking about men of the Lord. It ain't talking about any man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right, go ahead. So how press right, that nigga that- Hey, you can right. hold this for a second. Away, you just, just, you know, just hold it. He ain't shit pressing about that piece of shit. He ain't shit pressing about that piece of shit. Call the Lord, man. He'll, he'll help you out. He'll show you much love. Yeah. Call him the right name. Stop calling him the name James Jesus because they ain't the Lord's name. You know? yeah. Here he is. Um, oh, yeah, let me go to. Uh, he said Revelation. Where's Paul going? He got to use a basketball. He ain't that way. I'm watching, no go man, Eddie George is getting a drink. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Give him a quick drink. This is Revelation uh, 21 and 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. It's with men. That's a good scripture, yeah. It didn't say it with women. <laughs> right, right. And, I mean, um, that's why you're reading the scriptures. Oh, my fault. One second. Go ahead, bro. All the high priests was Aaron and his sons. They didn't say Aaron and his daughters. It was all men, was all the high priests. Right. All the 12 disciples was all men. That's right. They'd be like, well, Mary Magdalene was the 13th disciple. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look at that um, that picture of uh, the Last Supper with, with the white Jesus. Oh yeah, they look like women. Um, two of them is two, they make. They're based on Caesar Bojan's sister. Lucretia. Lucretia. They got two, it's two, she's in the painting twice. Yep. Lucretia Borgier. And they got disguised as a man, though, looking mm -hmm. like the disciples. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. And you won't know until you really just look at it. You it, know what I mean? Yeah, that picture mm -hmm. of the Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci, that's really the, the Devil's Supper, the Satan's Damn Supper. Damn right. Damn right. And he was fucking his sister. So, uh, the man who they made the image of Jesus, yeah. Caesar, Bo Caesar Borgier. Well, how do you really support He yet? was screwing his sister. Now, would the Lord screw his sister? Nah. You know? That's just like Caligula was fucking his sister. Well, or just like all the pharaohs, all the pharaohs in ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. It was a, a custom for thousands of years that the pharaoh had to marry. He had no choice. <laughs> he had to marry his sister. <laughs> we get that in uh, Leviticus, what? What's that? Leviticus 19? <laughs> you know where that's at? Oh, I can get it. Oh, we ain't got it like that. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Um, uh, you said uh, Pharaoh. Okay, I think I know what that is. Too. Uh, this is uh, Daniel 4 and 17. Uh, this is the matter. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most okay. high ruleth in kingdom of men. Ain't no combination of fucking king and queen sitting on fucking thrones and shit but together, you know? And you see a lot of that in the fucking king and queen. Oh yeah, king and queen sit by each other on a throne. Just like that bitch in England. The, the only king and queen that sat together like that on the throne was Ahab and Jezebel. You know who Ahab and Jezebel is? 
Like we call a wicked woman, a nickname for a wicked woman is a Jezebel. We call, we call bitch Jezzy. You Check know this what I mean? out. And I wish I could have took the pictures of it because I had my thing with me at the time. But it's, a, it's like three black women living around somewhere in the United States. One got Jezebel with a dick oh, shit. tattooed on One of them got Jezebel with a dick coming up for a tattoo. Well, they, they say that Jezebel was misunderstood. <laughs> yeah. And she was really a, a Je they say Jezebel what was a, a proto liberal a woman? <laughs> yeah, she was. She, they, she was the, the original women uh, women's rights activist. That's what. <laughs> but she was a god, uh, a witch, a sorceress, a, a murderer. Killed, killed, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The Lord killed. Yep. And you know what the Most High did to her? He had horses stomp her ass. Just couldn't be recognized. Well, well first she got ate by dogs. <laughs> oh yeah. First some dogs Rip ate her, her ass. To, her and then yeah, then she got trampled by into Listen, the damn dirt. My sister used to have horses, right? And one just accidentally barely stepped on my, it barely stepped on my foot. It's the worst pain I ever felt in my yeah, life. Yeah, that's heavy. Horse. And the horse didn't know, he was just standing there. Oh. It was a, I had to punch the horse, just, and it still didn't move. It just happened to move. He punched the horse. You, you know what I mean? Cause it was killing my foot. Now this mother, the horse, most I had horses stump this bitch to death. <laughs> What was like your, that movie Blazing Saddles when you do knock the horse out? Did he knock oh, yeah, horse? yeah, yeah. What's that was name? Blazing Saddles. The football dude. Yeah, well, the dude uh, that played in the NFL. Yeah, what was his name on the I movie? I can't remember his name, though. Um, he can't yeah, ride. Oh, he yeah. ride the Oxford. Oh, oh, his name is uh, I forget. Maybe. Oh, God. I know what you. I can't think uh. of right now. That's my favorite movie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You say punch the horse. You know what movie I hate? Your name Deshaun, right? Yeah. Oh, that was Human Text. What's up? You say, what was that? The movie Backwards. I hate it. Oh, that, that got two homosexuals in it. Martin Lawrence and uh, Will Smith, they're both faggots. Like actual faggots. You know they got, they suck dick. <laughs> you know, you know uh, Will Smith's first movie was Six Degrees of Separation, where he played a homosexual. So if you want to be a famous actor, you got to do gay shit in the movies. Otherwise, they gonna let you continue being an actor. Just like Martin Lawrence, he played a woman uh, in a movie. Uh, what's up, Big Mama's House? Yeah, and uh, he made a show with uh, Martin. Yeah, Martin. Oh, you Shanae? Shanae? Yeah. That's a poor God. Fucking door break. Like when people watch our videos, they're like, "God damn, I gotta go to Columbus." <laughs> All these hoes out here. They are coming here. Though. Yeah. Yeah. This is a big major city, man. I didn't know the hoes was in Columbus till we started coming up to campus. There's all kind of hoes. Yeah, I first got licensed, first left high school, got started driving. It's one of the first places you can get. First place, one of the first places you can get. I didn't know women could be sucking up this a small area. There's a high concentration of bitches up here. Funny ass hoes too. But they all whores. That was a shame though, because they all whores. Yeah, that's a sad thing. I'm still just a J, uh, J, -E -Z. this is like a town, I think. That's why you trying to look her up? Yeah, I'm trying to look her up. Here goes your homie. That's the second key. Man, I, I read that all the time. Uh, what are you rushing for? Oh, he didn't arrest me. He, he, he did for months to get me off the property of this hotel. What? Yeah. Damn. Well, anyway, I just stayed there with my dude. I stayed there with my dude, right? And then he got to stay. Well, I had to go. So I had to ride that fucking bus. All the way here. I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. I had to Right, right, right. I still got that. I got a lighter. No, not even that. Chapstick. Well, you in the same boat, bro. I'm struggling, hurting like that. We all hurting like we that. We all broke as fuck. We stay broken. We, we stay broken. That's part of the curses. Yeah. Sometimes when I do right by and him. Hey, you mean something? Well, I hope he does. It's the most high. For the most high is fucking us up right now. Because we ain't follow the commandments of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That's why everything's out of order. That's why all the women are hoes. That's why we're all poor, broke, fucked up, got diseases. Ailments. Right, gotta work two fucking jobs. Yeah. And still ain't got a fucking penny to fucking pocket, man. Ain't no, none of us own any property. You know what I'm saying? What happened to the 40 acres and the mule shit? 
Oh, they don't give that to me. Don't give that to Abraham. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Um, this is uh, this is Second Kings nine and thirty, and when Jehu was come to Je Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it, and she painted her face, cause this dude was out to get her. He was hit the most high priest to go kill that bitch. Cause she, cause uh, Jezebel had a bunch of the prophets of the Lord killed. Mm -hmm. Cause Obadiah had to take the uh, the rest of the prophets who were left and hide them in a cave, and he fed them bread, mm. bread, bread and water mm. for a while. You, uh, you read that. That's Second Kings. Well, that's my. That's my yeah, because she, she uh, Jezebel was killing all the prophets of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, I see a few gingers in there, boy. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll go ahead with that. Uh, they actually, he holds out here and fuck you up, bro. You gotta stay on track. Thanks, Most high sending them bitches to us. Yeah. See, all he's doing is just showing us that this is gonna be yours if you stay faithful, you know? Yeah. And they are gonna be ours, you know? They are, even, even if we don't make it and we born into the kingdom. Cause if you're an Israelite, hey, you don't make it on this side. You're going to be born in the kingdom anyway. Where that Smith's with That's me. That's why the Lord meant why all Israel will be saved. You know? And then, uh, then it said no sex and marriage. No what? Like no marriage, no giving, no giving marriage or something like that. No giving in the marriage. It's, uh, like oh, that's that's the talk. That's going into something else. Was it Stan, right? Or was it uh, Stuart or uh, no, no, Paul? Oh. Remember we both had the fake IDs. Yeah. <laughs> I can't yeah. remember your name yeah. though. Yeah, yeah I fake made ID. you a fake ID. A pimp ID or IDs. something. <laughs> we don't get fake IDs for. No, no I we made had them. anybody at the restaurant we worked at uh, calls by our fake name. Yeah. Oh, okay. my, my name was Douglas and they wasn't allowed calling me Doug. They had to call me Douglas. <laughs> and so then somebody, somebody else called me another name. So we, every time we see each other, we call each other by the fake name. Right? Yeah, this bitch Deborah got mad as hell when she found out my real name. She was calling me by my fake That's name for months. Do. That's what Jake's do. <laughs> well, hey, no, the, the manager probably got it on his hip too. It was like, hey, y'all need to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody calling everybody names. I, mean, I, did, I did that show where I worked at White Castle. My name tag said, I had two of them. One said Leroy, and the other said Wendell. <laughs> Leroy? Did you get Leroy? I just found him, bro. <laughs> Leroy. Uh, my name is you Leroy. You think of Leroy, you're going to think of some tall nigga now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, your boy Lee, his name's Leroy. No. Uh, Leonard. Leonard. Oh, Leonard. That's right. Leonard, my fault. Oh, he, if it's just a week, Saturday or Sunday. Oh, that was your name? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Leonard. <laughs> My name is Leonard. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody, what's up, Leonard? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's I named you, I think. That's a hell of a name, Leonard. Leonard. <laughs> There's some more heathen. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can tell why that evil ass look in her eye. Yep, yep, yep. You know, the scriptures say, you know, a horse woman by her hockey looks and eyelids. That's right. Oh, he's going into it by Jezebel. Let's get back on Jezebel. Oh, yeah. This is spirit. Oh, he's crazy. Don't Here you go. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, okay. Jezebel heard of it, and she painted her face and tired her head and looked out at a window. And as Jehu entered in at the gate, she said, Has Zimri peace, who slew his master? And he lifted up his face to the window and said, Who is on my side? Who? And, and there looked out to him two or three eunuchs. And he said, throw her down. Throw her down. So they threw her down. They threw that bitch down. Out the window. Out the goddamn window. That that's a wicked woman's punishment. That's he right. was like, you gotta, you gotta, uh, these are all queens. God damn. You gotta respect the woman. Where did they respect Jess They threw that bitch out the window. He threw her out the fucking window. That's what you do to a hoe, throw now, a bitch out the window. Now our people, Israelite women, they some wicked motherfuckers, man. You know, all around the hood. Ain't nothing but a bunch of loud mouth nigga bitches. And they all need tossed out the goddamn Damn window. Right, they need man. tossed out the top of the skyscraper. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? Damn right. And he said, well, with a motherfucking anvil around their neck. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? An anvil, right? Some weights or something. Damn right. 
<laughs> hey, hey, I got a scripture to back you up. Uh, back me up on that. To prove it. Go ahead. Keep going. And he said, throw her down. So they threw her down. And some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall. <laughs> that bitch, she splattered. <laughs> she hit the ground and blood splattered every damn way. It was a damn mess, bitches. <laughs> and, guts and shit everywhere. Oh, man. And on the horses. That bitch fell like Wally Coyote. And he trod her underfoot. Said so the horses trod that bitch underfoot, bro. And when he was come in, he did eat and drink and said, go. See now this cursed woman and a bury her, for she is a king's daughter. And they went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull. They couldn't find it. She got trodden down so bad they couldn't. They, they couldn't find Stop all the all the pieces to that bitch. You know what I mean? I used to have a tarantula, and my cats always hated the tarantulas, and they would literally open the fish tank somehow and get them motherfuckers out. And you know, if you got carpet in the house, them cats would stump the tarantulas in the carpet. I love that cats. That literally, I, I had a, you can't even get them out. Plus them tarantulas is full of hair. You know what I'm saying? Actually, you know, the cats literally stump them in the ground, man. Or before that, they would tear their legs off. Yeah. You'll find a leg in a living room. You'll find <laughs> a leg in the kitchen on top of the, the counter. And we liken them to, uh, <laughs> Israel liken them to a lion. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. We yep. The, well, Israel's really the king of the jungle. You That's know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, let me get a scripture to back you up, because even the Lord, because you might say, oh, you can't toss bitches out the window. You know what I mean? But listen, this is what the Lord said himself in Matthew 18. He said, uh, listen. Matthew 18 and 6, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones, meaning us, someone that believes, the little one's talking about a believer. You know what I'm saying? One part of the elect. Whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Ooh. Now, so a millstone is something they use to grind shit. It's heavy as fuck. It's, just, it's a wheel. It's a big, ass, a big ass stone wheel, weigh about 100 pounds. What movie is that? Um, Samson. Oh, yeah. You ever seen the movie Samson, old school one? When they took his eyes out, when Samson they grinded. Samson and Delilah? Yeah, when yeah. they grinded, and they, he was pushing that. That thing, oh, yeah. that, that mill, he was pushing. That big ass mill, some big as fuck. Mm -hmm. So the Lord said, if you got a problem with the truth, and you got That's a problem, and if you got a problem with us, that you you deserve to be, uh, you might as well commit suicide. You need to jump off the top of a damn building, right, go right. kill yourself, right. you go drown in the ocean. <laughs> That's what the Lord said. Right. That's right. There's another one. He said, bring your enemy. He bring enemy. Your enemy I'll get it. I'll get it. Slay them before me. Oh, he just quoted. That's, he, he just that's Luke nineteen, right Luke nineteen and twenty-seven. <laughs> that's the Lord, yeah. you know. That's the Lord. Okay. And they went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull and the feet and the palms of her hands. <laughs> the palms of her hands. <laughs> that's crazy. What up? <laughs> oh no, I threw it down on the ground over yeah, there. That's what I, was asking. I meant to make it in the trash, but I missed. Well, I'm glad it missed. Sure. Go ahead, bro. Wherefore they came again and told him, and he said, This is the word of the Lord which he spake by his servant Elijah the Tishbite, saying, In the portion of Jezebel shall dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel. So the dogs will eat the flesh of that bitch. And the carcass of Jezebel shall be as a dog upon the face of the field in the portion of Jezreel. Right, because the dog's going to eat her and they're going to shit that bitch out. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what, that's what they're going to do. What up? Where'd you go? So that they shall not say, oh, this is Jezebel. Right. Yeah, so you can't eat no drink. Jezebel. <laughs> she, she's a dog that ate her, huh? shit her out all over the place. <laughs> right, 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 right. And the most high is brutal, bro. Hey, here, go get like something said, from UDF. You don't want to get on his backside. I got a script for this. Because he got ways that we can't even think of this to take care of. Oh, no, he, for you. You know, there's oh, bugs that can get inside of you and actually grow and grow and grow and just eat the insides of you. Yep. The most high is bad, man. The most high is bad, man. The he most got, high got parasites that will go up inside your brain and, ooh, yeah. and take over your brain. That's right. And be controlling you. And it's common. That's common amongst these Edomites that go on these safari vacations. Yep. And they jumping in them, them, them waters that they don't know nothing about. You know, these uh, Amazon rivers. They just yeah. go having a good time with their shotguns. And, they come back shit. with some unknown uh, parasites up in their brain. Yep, yep, yep. And 
He always, the Most High always fucks things he might so. He never does that to Israel. He may get an Israelite in a wicked way, but you always hear about these other tribes getting ate up by lions and tigers. Mud, yeah. Mud you know, slides and shit. Is. We know not to go and, and bother those things, you know? We know that. Like, there's a video on YouTube of this Chinese guy trying to read the Bible to a oh, lion. That's class. No, yeah, that's how stupid a heathen is. Uh, uh, it, uh, Jake ain't gonna read a Bible to a lion. He got in the cage with the lion. It wasn't even in the cage, was it? Where was it? I can't jumped, remember. It was at a zoo. Was it? He got down, oh, okay. you know, He got down He's, somehow. He was trying to read the, the line, came up, smacked the Bible out of his hand, and fucked his ass up. <laughs> first, the, first, that's the first thing he did, the Bible, smacked, the, smacked, it out his smacked hand. the Bible out of his yep. hand. Yep. <laughs> fuck the uh, reincarnated to a person. Nah, you, that's what the Hindus believe. Oh, uh, see, that's funny you said <laughs> that. That's how the spirit works, bro. That's their culture. Uh-oh. Relative God, they got a city where it's from that they don't. They, they, it's a it's a law to kill the rats. They eat. They eat the, with the rats. The rat they eat supper with the rats. Shit, they, they let monkeys run freely through their cities. Oh shit! There was a little boy in India that was re just recently was born with a tail. Them motherfuckers started worshiping. Said he was the reincarnation of the monkey.